Did you know that Houston has over 112 master plan communities? And today we're going to talk about the hottest communities. So let's get to it. Hi, I'm Elise Velasquez and I'm a realtor with CBA Realtors based out of Katy, Texas. I'm Jessica Larson, also with CBNA and also based out of Katy, Texas. And we are so excited for this week's edition of Two Chicks showing you why you should fall in love with the West Katy. Yes. And did you know, like, so when, as I was doing um, the research on this, I had no idea that there was 112 master plan communities in the Houston area. So first of all, if you're from North Dakota like me, you have no idea what a master plan Yankee. community is. Yeah, sorry, sorry. And then you also, you would have no idea what even a community was no. to a degree. Even Louisiana, like, as, and they don't have these it's master like, plan You'll maybe, like, drive into an area with a side and you just, you know, yeah. maybe that's, like, that area. But anyway, so a master plan community is, like, something so phenomenal. It's, like, you're pulling into, like, a Caribbean um, resort when you move into a master plan community. Yeah. You literally have a pool. You have amenities. Sometimes there's restaurants. Yes, yes. A lot of times you have to pay the HOA fee, as I call it, which is all really, really worth it. Um, they make sure that every single house, and this will be a whole other addition that we'll get into the HOA yeah. fees, but they'll make sure that everything kind of stays the same. People are cleaning up after themselves, taking care of the lawns. Plus, then they take care of all the amenity spaces all of the green yeah. spaces they yes. take care of the mowing and all of that so to me a master plan, plan community is like a phenomenal thing for just a little bit more of an advancement of paying that HOA fee you can pay it monthly or annually typically yeah. and you get more like I don't know of that resort feel is how I explain I it. I think we totally should do a video on just what is a master plan community. Yeah, because they're yeah. so popular here. And uh, well Houston you area. said there's what 112. 112. So, yeah um, yeah absolutely. Okay. So um, HAR, which is HAR, if you don't know what HAR is, it's Houston Area Realtors. Mm -hmm. They do newsletters and postings. And so for Q1, uh, which is from January to, oh, we are in almost May. Yeah. And they're going to tell you, like, what is the hottest community. And so HAR told us the hottest community was actually located, do you know, want to guess? Where? I know, right? Right? <laughs> Never eat sour watermelon. <laughs> um, so it's actually located in Hockley, Texas, which is part of Waller County. Okay. Okay. Waller County is not really popular right now. So I was going to say, because, you know, we talk a lot about Katy, yes. right? Yes. So where, where is that? Like, so, okay. Never eat sour watermelon. Sorry. Let me get my compass. But it's going to be in your uh, 99 and 290, your Northwest okay. area. So still super close and accessible, probably 40 minutes it from is. downtown. Okay. Really? Yeah. yeah to, from downtown Houston. But when you get to Houston, everything's 20 minutes. Like you a native Houstonian is always going to tell you everything's yeah. 20 minutes away. Even Houston from Even Houston. Houston to Houston. It's yeah. 20 minutes. Yeah. So, um, but the community, so uh, we're talking about Hockley, Texas, and the community that um, is number one is called Del Rose. Yep. That's D-E-L-R-O-S-E, -E, right? D-L-L-R-O-S-E. -E. Okay. Okay. Yes. Two L's. Two yes, L's. Two L's. And this hot community, y'all, it has an average home price of 340000 and Stop right there. Yes. 340000 340000 So where I live, I live in Cross Creek Ranch, you cannot find no. a house for that. No. And these are new builds? They are new builds. They okay. have five fantastic okay. builders. Okay. You've got Ashton Woods, Lennar, All right. Coventry, Empire, and Chesmark. And so in this community, you're going to have that square footage that range from about 1,800 square feet to about 3,700. 3,700 square feet. So still really large, but yet yeah. if you're somebody like me who doesn't like, need a whole bunch of square footage, but likes the house aspect versus maybe a town home, yeah, I mean, you can get a lot of bang for the buck. It is a lot of bang for yeah. the buck out there. Okay. And that, cool. that Del Rose is that master plan community. So you have resort style amenities, tennis court, park, walking trails. Um, it also has, uh, it's got a school that's being built in that area. So okay. you have to remember, Master plan communities always usually have a school, yes, like an elementary that school. I did not mention. Yeah, an yeah. elementary school that's like right there. So another thing, Elise, while you're on that with like the schools, what is the district? I mean, it's Waller. Waller so. so it's going to be Waller ISD. Okay. And Waller just now built a new high school. Okay. Just FYI, it's a brand new, spanking new, beautiful high school. Okay. Okay. Like, Okay, that, that's awesome. Yes. And are there a lot of parks or anything in that There's area? There's some parks. There's actually one main called Zuby. Oh. It's Z-U-B-E. So okay. I was calling it Zub. Like it sounds... Tube, but it's Zuby. <laughs> I, I got that. Zuby. So it's the Zuby <laughs> park. But it has so like, like yoga-ish almost. Yeah. Like a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So they have walking trails and big park. And um, again, that Del Rose. So 
One of the fallbacks about the Del Rose is that where it's located, that 290 and 99, there's not a lot of where Del Rose is located. There's not a lot of restaurants. There's not okay. a lot of grocery stores. Okay. But you're going to have to kind of travel a little bit inside towards Houston. And okay. you're going to get the outlet mall. You're going to get... Oh, my gosh. Are you talking about the Cypress outlet mall? Yes, the Cypress outlet okay. mall. Okay. So I'm obviously new but not new to Texas. And I cannot, cannot stop from... I, I guess my kids going there. They love the outlet mall. Like you can, I mean, Lululemon. I don't even know how many. Yeah. David Yerman. Yeah. Is that, I think that's always, I always call him Zerman. Yeah. I think, it's, I, think I mean, they've, Nike. Nike. Um, Reebok, and it's just, it's like an outdoor, it's, it's if you're huge. new to this area yeah. or moving here, it's like an outdoor mall area. It's huge and it's outlet. So everything's gonna be a little bit cheaper. Yeah. But still you've got great, great yeah. like deals. Mm -hmm. So you just got to kind of just enjoy the day. You'll get lost and yes. Christmas is a blast there. Yes. Except for your paychecks. Your paychecks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do have the ATV, which is is a Texas grocery store and a Kroger. Yeah. So both of them big, and they're not just your small; they're the big, the big stores. Okay. And there's some restaurants over there. You got Lupe Tortilla, Texas Roadhouse. So you got with Olive with uh, sorry, rolling back. Yeah. You just because we want to make sure that y'all have a lot of information about this. So since it is new, Del Rose, and you were talking yes. about it being a little bit further away, I presume eventually, and we don't know yet, but eventually, like they're gonna build more like grocery yes. stores closer so it's kind of like a time to get in cheaper yeah yes. so you're and exactly you hit that right there like because del rose is since it's one of the hottest communities yeah it's because that price point is so low but you are saying the right thing because already you can start to see that waller county is going to expand yeah it's already been talked about that there's going to be more things in that area and i was looking at like the school districts up in that area because there's there's a couple of communities that are all gathering slowly that way um, I mean, it's it's small town charm. Yes. So small town school district charm. Remember, but there's, while there's only one high school, so yeah, not competing in years, there's gonna be two high schools. Yeah. I mean, in years, it's gonna yeah, it's, it's gonna grow. It's gonna I grow, mean, and that's that's what's happening because people are moving to this area because they what love it. They love the they West. They love Katie. the West. So. West Katy, West Houston. This yeah. area is just has so much to offer. Mm -hmm. So getting back to Del Rose, um, I did want to mention a few things because some people aren't familiar with um, tax rates and what is oh, a, yeah. what is um, what is what is that? Why is it different in different parts? Yeah. So um, the Del Rose tax rate is going to be three point four, and that's because don't let it scare you. It does have a mud district, mm -hmm. and what a mud district does is help with the infrastructure of those communities mm -hmm. so they're actually going to help and, pave the new roads yeah the sidewalks roads yes so yeah. you're having to pay so as time goes on that tax rate is going to lower yes because yeah. all that improvements already happened and just fyi but be aware that that is going to be off of your appraised value yes and just need to, if you have questions about that you need to ask those questions to your real estate agent which hopefully which, is us well, um, um, you, what, yeah, like, come on. <laughs> also, then we will let you know about some homestead exemptions and so on and so yes, forth that you can apply yes, for yes. that will yep. certainly lower down that, some of that tax rate. Exactly. That's a whole other video. Yeah. And I mean, again, this is yeah. just really talking about the hottest community and the hottest community out is that Del Rose. And it was the top. It was top. the top. It was the top. It's, and there's like, y'all, like compared to Katy, like where we are now in La Santera, mm -hmm. like there's homes all around here. There's there's communities yeah. all around here and Hockley yeah. is just it's starting to grow it's starting well to because up. it's accessible even though it's a little country it's accessible and so people are gonna yeah. go you know especially if you don't want all the big and you're okay and with driving a little it. and you and it's affordable it's you know, totally after affordable. COVID, I found that people are moving out because they can work at home well they can and work from home and they're realizing like why pay all the money for like yeah you know I go out to, like when when I work downtown area it was I went out on occasion down in that area but yeah. when you live down there do you really go out all the time maybe depending on how old you are or what mm -hmm. type of industry you're mm -hmm. in but more and more people even single um no yeah. children ever yeah. you know, know are moving out to this area yeah. so but i really enjoy looking at del rose i think mm -hmm. it's a great um it's a great area and we're gonna you know post pictures on oh, our yeah. social media yes. and more videos but we just wanted to give you the information of it first exactly like yeah. it's awesome um and i think that um i wasn't the only one that went out and looked at communities though so uh jessica where did you go so i decided to check into one of the other top ones in old town katie so if you're new to this area old town katie it's kind of like the old 
coming back new again. So sure. it is it, it, because they're you know building all these new communities up in the old town area. Mm -hmm. um, it's growing substantially, but it's also bringing in this new vibe. So it's going to become, I mean, it's the old town Katie, but I call it the new old town Katie, it, you know, to I a like degree. That. The, new the new old, old town, town Katie. Katie. <laughs> um, it's got, you know, the old country, you know, a little bit charm. As a matter of fact, when I was driving out to Sunterra, which we'll get more into, mm -hmm. it, literally there was horses, cattle. Yeah. So it's got a very uh, wonderful country feel. I like the country like that coming from North Dakota. Um, but yeah, it was a, it, so this is like a brand space a new community. I mean, it made the list and mm -hmm. I think it made the list because it is out in the country a little mm -hmm. bit. Still very, very accessible. Um, it's near I-10, 99. So if you need to go anywhere or even come into Katy, yes. when I come to Lost and Terra, whatever you want to do, yes. it's very, very accessible. And I believe a Super Target just popped up over there. It was weird because it popped up and I was like, where did this come from and why yeah. right here? Yeah, like it's, out of, it's just out there. Like, yeah. yeah, it's, and it's totally... It's a super target. It's yes. huge. So yeah. I, I'm not going to even step foot in there because there <laughs> goes another paycheck. Yes. Um, but it is, you know, about 40 miles from downtown as well. Um, so depending on traffic, uh, you know, a little bit of a normal commute that you would take to get into downtown. Um, the average home price there I was looking at is about 455 So still, once again, and this was average. This was like all the ones that have sold and all the ones that are listed on the market and then there's a lot of rentals out there too so that's the other thing which is a whole nother video as well we're gonna get into some rentals like is it worth renting you know maybe you have credit and so on and so forth and all those different factors that you want to rent well you can literally rent a place out there three four bedrooms whatever you need for around twenty five hundred dollars and I got I gotta say this even though I know we want you know mm -hmm. everybody's like buy a home buy a home right sometimes it is not what the best decision for no you. it it's isn't. not. Yeah. Like maybe you do need to rent for a little bit. Yeah. That is so fine. Yep. Like, and I think people need to understand that you don't always need to buy something. No, it doesn't. It's not a status quo. It's not. Right. It's, not. it's really not. It's not. Do it. Do what is best for your family. House, whatever. Apartment. Yeah. yeah totally. Um, so this uh, particular Sentara is actually going to be in the Katy ISD. So if you are new here, that is a wonderful, wonderful school district. Um, if you're old here, y'all know it's a wonderful, wonderful school district. So Katy ISD tax rate, once again, like Elise was yes. explaining, it's a 3.51%. But once again, it is because of the MUDs. Now, probably not in your time or anything is it going to be paid off in the <laughs> sense of if you sell your house in 10 years. Um, but eventually it will be paid down and then you won't have to pay on those mud districts anymore. Okay, and so, I just giggled because like our paper just Yeah, like, it's just it wasn't because of what she said. All my talking <laughs> notes just went that way. So now we're just going to make some stuff up. Just kidding, just kidding. Um, one of the greatest things that I saw about there is the amenities. But once again, if you buy the house now, you're probably going to have more value yeah. um, eventually because the amenities have not been built. So they're going to have, and I'm a huge beach girl, so this was seriously yes, something that I was like, awesome. ah, so excited. Um, they're going to have like a beach, um, lagoon style, uh, yeah. resort type deal for you to swim. I mean, the water, Ooh. according to the pictures, looks Caribbean blue. It looks beautiful. Uh, and it sand, looks absolutely like white beautiful sand. sand. They, you, they have that here in Cinco Ranch. The, that is right. This one a, I think is supposed to be like, but this is bigger. Huge. huge. So even if you know what I'm talking about here in Katy and mm -hmm. the Cinco Ranch, the sand yeah. pool here. The one in Santerra is going to be absolutely like three times bigger than that thing. It's going to be yeah. huge. It huge. is. It is. It's. I mean, I I would be excited about that, yes. and I would be. You know, that would be my main reason. And I don't even like swimming. I really, really? don't. Like, no, I don't like swimming. But I would sit like in the beach, the beach, and I'd put my feet in the sand. But you don't go in the water. It's not like this thing for me. Like. Like you don't. But like, why don't you go in the water? A Just shark may it. eat me. Seriously. Just kidding. <laughs> Okay, I do say when I walk in the sand, I'm like, what am I going to walk on? You know, like, like, oh, what is that? And then, like, the, the jellyfish, not the jellyfish, the seaweed. Seaweed. Seaweed's oh, going around you, like, jump. Like, and ah! it's so bad. Yeah. yeah. I know. Um, oh, and the HOA fee. So, right oh, now, on. super great. The HOA fee is going for $1,000. Uh, this would be annually. And a lot of times, you can split that up and pay it in payments, quarterly installments, or so on and so forth. But $1,000 to get in. And now, will those change and adjust, to be honest? they will especially as more amenities but for now to get in with an hoa fee at a thousand dollars is excellent um i found your notes oh okay would you like to well, you know actually i just wanted to say 23 home builders in santana that's the other thing 
What? 23 home. I, I didn't even like girl, like Polte, Shay. I mean, they've got Chesmar. They have, there are so many different parks that like to go and look at all the model homes. And we would love to show you the model homes. We do. Video. Yeah, we do. You know, I did take some videos, not of the like individual, but just the area yes. that'll be posted to our links. But, um, so many model homes that it gets, it can get actually overwhelming. So I truly yeah. suggest when it comes to like the model homes, you know, you know, get with your realtor and talk to them, uh, you know, and kind of actually, in my opinion, go to like the top five of maybe what your yeah. home price is, like your price point yes. and maybe see one a little over yeah. um, and yeah. then narrow it down by that, by maybe reviews of the home builder and things like that. Because after 23 models, I looked at seven models in a different area today. It was like, which one had that? What? what uh, and I tell you, and yeah. when you walk into those new home builders, they're, they're going to tell you, oh, you don't need an agent. But y'all, y'all really do need one because it's going to help guide you. That's a no, that's another video that we will do. But just take an agent; it is worth it because it is, they, and it's free. And they're not, they're not realtors. No, uh, they're, they're sales not. agents, and we love and them who to are pieces, they representing? But they're representing that the builder. builder. They're, there's no that one there protecting builder. you. So. And then you know, if you like a relationship, once again, we're getting into a whole different subject. We are. We you, totally are. You like a relationship, and you want long, you know. If you yes. have an issue, we want to be able to help you yes. for the next 10 years, find yeah. somebody to fix it if that's exactly. what it is. For so sure. yeah. definitely, you know, contact us. But that's, that, there's my ADHD. <gasps> well, you know, I don't even, I don't okay, even know so. if I have ADHD, but oh, okay. I mean, yes, probably sometimes. probably sometimes. I think all moms <laughs> have a little bit of it. They have to, because we have like 500 things that we do at once. That's exactly. You know, like you get me this mom. Hey mom, waffles or, you know, yeah. like get to the grocery store. And then your husband's like, blah, blah, blah. yeah, we just have to. Yeah. And then work. Hello. There's still new homes out there in Sunterra because it's a brand new, so you're not going to probably see um, a pre-existing yeah. uh, for sale yet because I, I want to say it may be opened last year, middle of last year. Okay. Um, and so definitely, you know, you're going to get the new home, the new home smell, which I think is fabulous. Yes. Um, so, I mean, we want to take you out there and check it out, but check out the social media, you know, our social media for more of these two um, communities and then we will go through some other communities as we go. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think that's, that's, the, that's the point of this whole channel. Yeah. It's really just to show you the Katy area and yeah. show you what Cause there's about it. 112 master plan communities. <laughs> master plan communities. Yes. And yes. there is no way to see them all. So no. hopefully with some of our, you know, price points and everything, it can help you narrow down a little bit of maybe your search. Um, but primarily I wanted to get into this too. When, when you're searching for a property or a community, what we want to, you know, hear from you is like where, what, what area, is there a reason you want to move to a certain area? Cause maybe it's, maybe it is for a school district. Maybe yeah. it's because your best friends live in this area, but you don't want to be too close because they're a little, you know, nosy, something like that. Or we want family, you know, yeah. family, or family, you know, family, we want to yeah. just be able to narrow down. Yes. The place that would work best for you. Yes. And then we could go, hey, there's four master plan communities in that area. Yeah. So let's take a look at, you know, these four. And then we're going to narrow it down even more before we probably even go out and go, okay, here's the builders. Here's some suggestions based off of your price point. Um, yes. Let's go and look at these three builders and maybe this one just randomly because it's one of our favorites or something yeah. like that. And then we sit down and we can just like, oh, okay, what do you think? You know, what do you think? What do you, exactly. think? you know? Yeah. And, and then take some stress off of you is yes. what the plan it's, it's, is. It is overwhelming. And I, I, I don't think the whole buying process or selling process is just very overwhelming. It is. Um, but again, this was great uh, talking about the hottest communities. Ah, yeah. And, and there, there was actually like, well, it, it gave oh, 10, 10, right? I think was 10, 10 of the top. We only talked about two. We'll probably yes. get into, I think um, our next videos will have like one master plan community and maybe some additional information. Um, we're also, don't forget, we're going to bring in some guest speakers um, eventually. Maybe, you know, a whole new thing for me coming from out of state was, you know, the way that the titling works here. Um, yes. yeah. And, you know, just like the lenders. So we're going to bring in some really cool, and even we're going to bring in an HOA manager to kind of discuss, you know, the reasons you should go with something that has an HOA. Exactly. Um, and so we're super excited about that. There's so many things to talk yeah. about. If you guys are liking our videos, please yeah. comment, like, subscribe, subscribe yeah. so that we can uh, continue to make these fun videos. Yeah. We really do enjoy getting the information out to you guys yeah. about West Houston, Katy area. Yeah, we love it. And we just want you all to love it too. So yes. take love care. Cheers. Cheers.